It is the job of Democrats, however, to pull the panic alarm, push the panic button with regard to Donald Trump. And they are really ratcheting it up. So yesterday, Hillary Clinton sent off what is one of the most egregious tweets I've ever seen in my life. It was about Normandy. And here is what she, she limited the replies, by the way, quote, 80 years ago today, thousands of brave Americans fought to protect democracy on the shores of Normandy. This November, all we have to do is vote. Yes, that's right. According to Hillary Clinton, Donald Trump is Hitler. And when you vote against Donald Trump, that is the same as you storming the beaches of Normandy. Yes, you, you fatso, carrying your Pepsi, your Slurpee, both of them, and your Cheetos in line at the, at the polling place. You voting against Donald Trump, it's like when your great-grandfather stormed the beaches of Normandy while his friends got killed by mortars, according to Hillary Clinton. I mean, there are a few things that are insulting about this. One, the idea that voting is in any way equivalent to military service is absurd. Two, the idea that Donald Trump is orange Hitler is absurd on its face. We know he isn't. He was president of the United States already. And guess what didn't happen? The Hitler stuff. By the way, if anybody were to blame for the rise of orange Hitler, it would be Hillary Clinton, who was the candidate who somehow lost to Hitler. Hey VFC2, welcome back to the channel. It's a girl for more. And I'm back with another reaction video. Today I'm going to be asking to Ben Chapiro. And we have, is this the most guinness post ever? Can't wait to dive into the video. But before we get started, we have some amazing people watching us for the first time. If you're new to the channel, hello, I'm Vera. I do reaction videos. If this is something that you love. Why not join Vera City? Hit the subscribe button below. Turn on the post notification bell. So that you can always be the first person to know whenever a new video drops. And that, guys, let's go. Because she wouldn't visit Wisconsin. But this has become a Democratic talking point over the course of the last 24 hours. Nothing says, nothing says true tribute to the heroism of D-Day, quite like comparing your political opponents to Hitler. Here is Mitch Landrew, who's a senior advisor on infrastructure coordination for the Biden administration, doing the exact same thing. And I feel very, very confident that this is going to be a very hard fought race. But when the chips are down, the American people are going to show up just like those kids did uh, 80 years ago. Just like the kids did 80 years ago. Exactly like that. Like they're going to storm off of amphibious landing craft onto a beach pocked by machine gun fire. And then they're going to vote for the old man who may have actually pooped upon himself at Normandy. Hot rumor on Capitol Hills that they do carry a second suit, just in case, for the president of the United States. Meanwhile, the entire media have decided that the problem is not actually Donald Trump. It's Donald Trump supporters. Half the country, according to the mainstream media, according to legacy media, half the country are effectively brown shirts. So here is MSNBC's Nicole Wallace making the case that Trump supporters have to be fixed with Anthony Scaramucci, the mooch. You remember him from his extraordinarily short tenure as a White House press secretary for five hot seconds. And again, it is amazing how easily you become a hero of the day over on MSNBC. All you have to do is be a Republican for five seconds, turn around and crap on Republicans, and you will be hero of the day over at MSNBC, including Anthony Scaramucci. Here we go. But how do you fix them? I mean, I, I don't think, I don't recommend that we hate those people, but how do you help people that must hate themselves? To want someone to serve as commander in chief who thinks they are suckers and losers if they get injured or die serving the country. Listen, it, it's an absolutely terrible thing. I, 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 I think that the president, President Biden, has actually done a great job for these people. Uh, president Trump may identify their grievances and may push buttons of their anger. But if you think of the uh, reshoring, the of manufacturing, the infrastructure deal, you think of the microprocessor foundries that are going into the United States. He has such a case to make for these people coming back to the Democratic Party. Yes, let's listen to the words of a man who lasted for 11 days in the Trump administration. 11 days. Honest to goodness. In I have vegetables in the fridge that have lasted longer than Anthony Scaramucci. Here is an eternal truth. Vegetables, yucky. Take Brussels sprouts. They taste like garbage. That's where they belong, but you're supposed to eat them. What exactly are they? Well, you don't have to know that much about vegetables to know that you can also get what you need from the vegetables 
with like Balance of Nature fruits and veggies. Balance of Nature fruits and veggies is the most convenient way to ensure you get your daily intake of fruits and veggies. Balance of Nature uses an advanced cold vacuum process that encapsulates fruits and veggies into whole food supplements without sacrificing those natural antioxidants. The capsules are completely void of additives, fillers, extracts, synthetics, pesticides, or added sugar. The only thing in those Balance of Nature fruit and veggie capsules, fruits and veggies. You need nutrients to function at your best each and every day. Balance of Nature helps you do that. I've been taking my Balance of Nature. They're kosher. They're excellent. Go to balanceofnature.com. Use promo code Shapiro for 35% off your first order as a preferred customer. Plus, get a free bottle of fiber and spice. That's balanceofnature.com. Promo code Shapiro. Staying healthy on the job. Big thing to me. Important to you. Go check out balanceofnature.com. Promo code Shapiro for 35% off your first order as a preferred customer. Plus, that free bottle of fiber and spice. Another thing I don't buy, by the way, is Joe Biden saying he's not going to pardon Hunter. Yeah, I don't buy that for one hot second. If Hunter Biden ends up with a 10-year prison sentence, the chances that Joe leaves him in prison to rot are zero. But here is Joe Biden trying to maintain that he's going to be hands-off with his Justice Department, presumably just as hands-off as he was when the Justice Department tried to cut an absolute sweetheart deal with Hunter Biden to let him off on all of the charges. A sweetheart deal only negated by a federal judge going, what in the hell is this deal? Here is Joe Biden proclaiming he's not going to pardon Hunter. Uh Ha ha, sure. As we sit here in Normandy, uh, your son Hunter is on trial, and I know that you cannot speak about an ongoing uh, federal prosecution. But let me ask you, will you accept the jury's outcome, their verdict, no matter what it is? Yes. And have you ruled out a pardon for your son? Yes. You have. (sighs) He chose poorly. When it came to drinking from the his choice for the Holy Grail was, was wrong, as it turns out. And he's been aging in real time, like the end of, of Indy. In any case, I don't believe that. Also, by the way, I will point out that his, his love for his family is quite selective. When it comes to one granddaughter, she has no contact whatsoever with Joe Biden. According to ex-stripper and Hunter Biden's ex-lover, London Roberts, she has now told Piers Morgan that President Joe Biden and First Lady Joe Biden, the most caring members of the Biden family, have yet to even meet their five-year-old granddaughter, which is, that, that, that is how you treat family. Just really, really solid stuff here. There's been several, several articles sent to me that, you know, people have told me that, um, you know, he's not acknowledged Navy and, and, and things like that. That was, um, you know, during a time that I think the, the paternity suit had, had happened and the child support thing had not yet. And Hunter and I had not come to terms with things yet. And the advice that, honestly, I've been given... Um, from my attorney was that, you know, grandparents don't normally step into a child's life until their child does. The, the, the father, you know, steps in first. And I think that, you know, Joe has set back and, and waited for that to happen for Hunter before he was, you know, feels that comfortable enough to, to step forward. So Hunter, who had an unfortunate habit of stooping hookers and strippers, It turns out that he impregnated one of them. Then he tried to deny the paternity for literally years. And then finally, he acknowledged the paternity. Joe Biden did not acknowledge this particular grandchild publicly for years and years and years. Now has done so, but still has not contacted this particular grandchild. But is there to defend Hunter Biden in the dock as he faces down federal gun charges that could land him in prison? By the way, it's going to be a moot point. My prediction, as always, Hunter Biden is going to get a hung jury. He's going to get a hung jury. This is happening in Wilmington, Delaware. That jurisdiction is a totally Biden-dominated area. Again, Joe Biden won something like 88% of the vote in Wilmington, Delaware. The, the Biden team owns that state. This would be the same as if you were actually to try Donald Trump, not in New York, but you were going to try him in West Palm Beach. Like right, but, but just, just the area of Mar-a-Lago. Like, it, it, it's an absurdity. Are you tired of the lies and the twists of the mainstream media talking points? Yeah, me too. Join me in my newest series, Fact, where I dismantle and bring truth to this tiring mainstream agenda. Oh my gosh. So you made people still listen to Hillary Clinton. Why? <laughs> she always have a comment about everything. In fact, I feel like she belongs to The View. Because she would fit right in. Absolutely. She says dumb things just like they do joe biden needs to be voted out of office come november it needs to be voted out for reals albert avoided serving in the vietnam war after saying he would do so 
Honestly, her hypocrisy knows no bounds. She has zero respect for veterans. Imagine reading that tweet as a war veteran. Talk about a giant slap to your face after risking your life for your country. Voting Democrats out will be a vote to save democracy. What are your takes on this? What are your thoughts on this? Drop a comment down below. I totally enjoyed this. If you enjoyed this video as much as I did, give it a huge thumbs up and please share this video. If you're new to the channel, join Vera CC. The subscribe button below, turn on the post notification bell so that you can always be the first person to know whenever a new video drops. And with that, guys, I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys.